Good morning, Mary Grace. Good morning to you, Mom. Okay, Mary Grace, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Mary Grace Yitambong, 37 years of age. I'm a single mother and I have two children. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to help my children and also to support my family. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Mal Malaysia because uh, it's near in the Philippines and I want to know the tradition and culture. How are you qualified for this job? I'm qualified for this job because I'm honest, hardworking, and disciplined person. May I know what your educational level is? I have a high school graduate. High school graduate. What is your recent working experience? I have a recent experience uh, four years in uh, DH in Oman. You are a domestic helper okay. in Oman? Yes, ma'am. For yes, how many years again? Four years. Four years. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, uh, I have an experience of taking care of a baby, ma'am. Okay, how about elderly people? I don't have any experience to take care of elderly people, but I'm willing to, you know, to take care of elderly people. Do you have any other special skills? Like, uh, a little bit massage, ma'am. Okay, a little bit of massage. Basic massage. Okay, yes, ma'am, basic massage. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am, I'm willing. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. I'm willing. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? I know how to cook food, uh, Filipino food. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, right? How about other dishes? This is like a uh, vegetable salad, ma'am. Vegetable salads, okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. I'm aware. From all the house chores, like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Yes, ma'am. Uh, washing, ironing, and uh, cooking, ma'am. You mean all? Yes, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My siblings. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours? Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed? Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed yes, for the terms and conditions? Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? I'm agreed, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? I'm I'm honest, polite, and disciplined person, ma'am, and trustworthy. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I assure you to so I'm working hard because uh, I'm a hard worker.
Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? I'm not fit to work, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? No. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Ma'am. Come again? Come again, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Mary Grace, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you. Actually, it's two, and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia within like six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? No, ma'am. Uh, I will stay. I will finish my two years contract. You will finish your two years contract? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Mary Grace Itambong, 37 years of age. I'm a single mother of two children. I'm working in Malaysia because I want to support my two children and for my family. Okay, Mary Grace, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Mom, choose me because I'm a hard worker. Okay, anything else, Mary Grace? No, Mom. Can you please choose me, Mom? Please. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you very much, Mary Grace. We will You're update welcome. to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, Mom. Thank you, Mom.